Peritoneum. The peritoneum is the serous membrane forming the lining of the abdominal cavity or coelom in amniotes and some invertebrates, such as annelids. It covers most of the intra-abdominal organs, and is composed of a layer of mesothelium supported by a thin layer of connective tissue. This peritoneal lining of the cavity supports many of the abdominal organs and serves as a conduit for their blood vessels, lymphatic vessels, and nerves. The abdominal cavity is different from the intraperitoneal space. The structures within the intraperitoneal space are called intraperitoneal, the structures in the abdominal cavity that are located behind the intraperitoneal space are called retroperitoneal, and those structures below the intraperitoneal space are called subperitoneal or infraperitoneal. The peritoneum is one continuous sheet, forming two layers and a potential space between them, the peritoneal cavity. The outer layer the parietal peritoneum, is attached to the abdominal wall and the pelvic walls. The tunica vaginalis, the serous membrane covering the malatestis, is derived from the vaginal process, a now pouching of the parietal peritoneum. The inner layer, the visceral peritoneum, is wrapped around the visceral organs, located inside the intraperitoneal space for protection. It is thinner than the parietal peritoneum. The mesentery is a double layer of visceral peritoneum that attaches to the gastrointestinal tract. There are often blood vessels, nerves, and other structures between these layers. The space between these two layers is technically outside of the peritoneal sac, and thus not in the peritoneal cavity. The potential space between these two layers is the peritoneal cavity, filled with a small amount of slippery serous fluid that allows the two layers to slide freely over each other. Peritoneal folds are a manta mesenteries and ligaments, they connect organs to each other or to the abdominal wall. There are two main regions of the peritoneal cavity, connected by the omental foramen. The mesentery is the part of the peritoneum through which most abdominal organs are attached to the abdominal wall and supplied with blood and lymph vessels and nerves. In addition, in the pelvic cavity there are several structures that are usually named not for the peritoneum, but for the areas defined by the peritoneal folds. The structures in the abdomen are classified as intraperitoneal, retroperitoneal or infraperitoneal depending on whether they are covered with visceral peritoneum and whether they are attached by mesenteries. Structures that are intraperitoneal are generally mobile, while those that are retroperitoneal are relatively fixed in their location. Some structures, such as the kidneys, are primarily retroperitoneal, while others such as the majority of the duodenum, are secondarily retroperitoneal, meaning that structure developed intraperitoneally but lost its mesentery and thus became retroperitoneal. The peritoneum develops ultimately from the mesoderm of the trilaminar embryo. As the mesoderm differentiates, one region known as the lateral plate mesoderm splits to form two layers separated by an intraembryonic coelom. These two layers develop later into the visceral and parietal layers found in all serous cavities, including the peritoneum. As an embryo develops, the various abdominal organs grow into the abdominal cavity from structures in the abdominal wall. In this process, they become enveloped in a layer of peritoneum. The growing organs take their blood vessels with them from the abdominal wall, and these blood vessels become covered by peritoneum, forming a mesentery. Peritoneal folds develop from the ventral and dorsal mesentery of the embryo. In one form of dialysis, called peritoneal dialysis, a glucose solution is sent through a tube into the peritoneal cavity. The fluid is left there for a prescribed amount of time to absorb waste products, and then removed through the tube. The reason for this effect is the high number of arteries and veins in the peritoneal cavity. Through the mechanism of diffusion, waste products are removed from the blood. Peritonitis is the inflammation of the peritoneum. It is more commonly associated to infection from a punctured organ of the abdominal cavity. It can also be provoked by the presence of fluids that produce chemical irritation, such as gastric acid or pancreatic juice. Peritonitis causes fever, tenderness, and pain in the abdominal area, which can be localized or diffuse. The treatment involves rehydration, administration of antibiotics, and surgical correction of the underlying cause. Mortality is higher in the elderly and if present for a prolonged time. Primary peritoneal cancer is a cancer of the cells lining the peritoneum. Peritoneum is derived from Greek pi epsilon rho iota tau nu alpha iota omicron nu peritone and peritoneum, abdominal membrane by Latin. In Greek, pi epsilon rho peri means around, while tau epsilon nu omega tino means to stretch, thus, peritoneum means stretched over. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.